members of Bloomers, Rosé, and more. We're so excited to be here with you today and start our next part of our adventure into your part of the world. So let me tell you a little bit about Bloomers, Rosé, and more. We are the first non-alcoholic drink mix that mixes with everything, whether it's wine, spirits, beer, seltzers, or just as a mocktail, we're happy to be your frozen drink of choice. We are the first drink mix that's vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, and kosher, serving all of your drink needs. When you have those really hard-to-mix liquors, we can take that and turn that into a frozen drink for somebody that they will never forget. Our frozen drink mix is so easy. It's designed to use at home with nothing more complicated than a blender or a Nutribullet. We're here to help you, and we have a lot of recipes on our website at bloomersfrosé.com. That's bloomersfrosé.com. And we're happy to custom build any kind of recipe that fits for your market as we do for other markets. We're really excited to work with you and to drive a new segment into your marketplace. We started in 2018, and so from there to here, especially with World events, we are so happy to be here with you. From me, I'm going to introduce you to Danielle Trudy, who's our Global VP of Facilitation, who's going to help you get your program together. Hi, I am Danielle Trude, and I am the VP of Global Account Facilitation. Together, we have partnered with distribution channels around the world to bring frozen drinks to everyone. Currently, you can find us across all 50 states in the USA and shortly in Europe, with current expansion in India, as well as global cruise lines and Belize. You can also order our product across the world on Amazon.com, Walmart.com, and Alibaba.com. As we grow into new markets, our production ability scales with it. We are able to hit any production or supply demand you may need. With our facility located in Florida, we work closely with our suppliers to keep prices low and product production moving. Our cases come display ready and designed for ease of stacking. Our goal is to make your shelves look as pretty as possible. We are able to ship from any USA port for pickup and provide any required quantity with minimal lead time. And now I'd like you to meet Spencer who runs our e-commerce side of the business. Hey, I'm Spencer, and I manage our e-commerce and social media profiles here at Bloomers for Zaymore. I have made it not only our company goal, but a personal goal to connect the world together through frozen drinks. Our social media reaches people in every corner of the world where we get to interact with them, share recipes, ideas, and just have a good drink together. Recently, we've been sharing a lot of recipes with our friends over in India, and it's been a lot of fun to see how they mix other ingredients that we might not think is traditional together. With our platforms, we're working to recycle more bottles, use reusable straws, and encourage people to make eco-friendly frozen drinks. We're also spreading awareness on how frozen drinks are a new contactless category for restaurants. Don't forget, you can also make the best frozen drinks at home. All you need is a blender and some bloomers, frosé, and more. Our recipes are so versatile that with one mix, you can make drinks for the whole family. You can make margaritas, daiquiris, mai tais, mocktails, even vegan cocktails if your ingredients are vegan as well. We're just that versatile. You can make almost any drink in a single serving or batch it up for the whole dinner party. Our goal is to take over the internet with one bright colored drink at a time. And now back to Stacy to share some of our fun facts like Super Bowl and the Oscars. We wanted to tell you about a few things that we do here in the States, like we're the sponsors of the Oscar, the Super Bowl, and the Emmy. And we know that you watch those globally. So next time you watch, you can see a celebrity sitting there slipping a delicious frozen drink. So my team has come up with something really fun for you today. You're going to have a little session with our mixologist, Branton, who's going to show you how easy it is to make Bloomer's frozen drinks. You're going to love the drinks and the variety of things that you can make. Hey, I'm Brandon. I'm the mixologist here at Bloomer's Frosé and More, and I'm going to be making four of my favorite drink recipes with you today that you can also make in the comfort of your own home. Now, before we dive into these recipes today, I wanted to explain in a little bit more detail what I'll be using, Bloomer's Frosé and More, and some of the products that we offer. So for all four of these recipes, we're going to be using the regular flavor Bloomer's Frosé. And we offer that in a one liter as well as a 64 ounce for a little bit of larger scale drink making. Now we also offer a one liter low cal, low carb that uses stevia as a sugar substitute that can be interchanged in any of the recipes that you see today or that you see online. Not only that, but if you didn't know, Bloomer's Rosé and More is already gluten-free, non-GMO, 
vegan, and kosher. And maybe you don't like alcohol, that's okay too. Follow along for these recipes and use our base mix as well as your favorite fruit juice in replacement for alcohol and you can have tasty drinks as well. And as you'll notice in these recipes, we're gonna be using red wine, white wine, vodka, even bourbon, but it doesn't stop there. Bloomer's Frosé actually mixes with beers and even seltzers as well, so the frozen drink combinations are endless. But we're gonna start with my personal favorite, the original Bloomer's Frosé. Let me explain before we start our original Bloomer's Frosé that we always like to start with the base of our drink. So that is one and a half cups of ice and two ounces of Bloomer's frozen drink mix. And now you'll see that we can build just about any drink from this base alone. And so to make it our frosé, we're gonna take our four ounces of your favorite rosé, pre-measured, and we're gonna take it all and we're gonna throw it right in the blender. One and a half cups of ice, our two ounces of Bloomer's, Make sure you get all that flavor in there. And then your favorite four ounces of rosé. We're gonna throw that in there. And you guessed it, we are going to blend until smooth. And now that we blend it until it's smooth, our Bloomer's original rosé is ready to be served. So you're gonna grab a wine glass or one of your favorite glasses, pour out a nice serving and enjoy, and don't be afraid to garnish with one of your favorite toppings, such as strawberry or maybe mint. But until then, we're gonna clean out this blender and we're gonna get on to the next drink. Next, we'll be making our frozen bourbon lemonade. So just like last time, we are gonna start with the same base, our one and a half cups of ice, and our two ounces of Bloomer's Frosé and more. So we're gonna take that blender, open that back up. We're gonna pour the ice in. It's okay if you can't get it all. And then we're gonna pour the bloomers in, just like last time. And then this time for our bourbon lemonade, this is where it differs. We're gonna take a Sauvignon Blanc, three ounces, and then we will also take one ounce of an actual bourbon. And so as we mix these, the flavors themselves are really gonna accentuate well with bloomers and pull out a little bit of the fruit, but at the same time, you're gonna get a little bit of that bite from that bourbon, which I really look forward to. Now let's blend until smooth. And once we blend it in and it's all smooth, we have our frozen bourbon lemonade. But like the drink itself, I wanna keep things interesting, so we're gonna serve this one in a mason jar. I'm gonna fill it up until about below the brim, make it look like a nice and full drink. And then with this one, to keep it even more interesting, keep it very fresh, don't be afraid to add a lemon wedge on the side of the drink or a colorful straw, so it's really like a fun in the sun type of drink. For our third drink, we're gonna be making frozen sangria, and just like the last two, we're gonna be starting with our base, which is our cup and a half of ice and our two ounces of bloomers, and you guessed it, that's going right in the blender. And then the difference this time is you're gonna take one of your favorite red wines. We picked a Cabernet Sauvignon, and we are gonna pour four ounces of that into the mix. And just like that, we're gonna throw the top on, and we're getting ready to blend. And once it's nice and smooth, we have our frozen sangria, but it doesn't stop there. We're gonna grab a mason jar just like the last time, but this is really where you can make or break your drink. So you can pick one of your favorite glasses. It doesn't have to be the wine in the mason jar like I've been using. And that's where the creativity really goes through the ceiling, both with the garnish and the glass, and as to well as how you serve. And just like that, we have our frozen sangria. And for our fourth and final drink, we're gonna be making a special one for some of you out there. We're gonna be making a gluten-free vodka frosé. So just like that original frosé, the difference here is you're gonna take your favorite gluten-free vodka and you're gonna take two ounces of that. But before we do that, we gotta start with our base. And just like we've said, that is one and a half cups of ice, as well as two ounces of your bloomers. And we're gonna throw that into the blender. Add the bloomers. And then like I said, the two ounces of your favorite gluten-free vodka. 
That goes right in. We'll throw the top on. And we'll blend until it's smooth. Now that we have it smoothed out, we have our gluten-free vodka frosé. And so just like the original Bloomer's frosé, I'm going to serve that into a nice wine glass. And cheers. And if you were wondering about any other recipes other than the four that I showed you today, we are always updating our recipe decks throughout the year. We both have seasonal winter as well as summer, but we are also constantly making custom recipes too. So don't be afraid to reach out. Otherwise, you can find us at bloomersfrosé.com. Cheers. We're back. It's Stacy again from Bloomers for a Say and more. We're so happy that you got a chance to meet our entire team that will be handling your facilitation. Between Danny Spencer and myself, we're so excited to be global with you. We went from our house to yours. Please be safe. Welcome to Bloomers for a Say and more. And we hope to be spending a lot of time with you. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.